What is going on guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to, I'm not really going to call this a match day experience because it's pretty much five match day experiences going into one. Tonight is the 6th of October 2017 and it's a very special weekend this weekend. Approximately 200 to 250, maybe 150, I'm not really sure, ground hoppers from across the UK and the world are all descending into Bristol and the Southwest for the Western League ground hop weekend. It's an annual event that takes place every single year. It's an absolutely fantastic event where the Western League and a company called Groundhop UK, I will leave links in the description for any of you who are interested in similar events like this, team up. They alter all the kickoff times across the weekend to allow Groundhoppers like myself to go to as many games as we can. So this weekend there are seven different games. One tonight, four tomorrow, two on Sunday. I myself am going to five of them. So it basically works out of five matches in 24 hours, which is a bit crazy to think. And it all starts tonight at Ashton and Backwell FC against Bishop Sutton FC, which is a bit of a derby actually, in the Western League Division 1. So it's going to be ground number 157 for me, I think, and 61 on my Prostate Cancer Charity Challenge. I'm going to make sure I plug this because hopefully some ground hoppers and generous ground hoppers will see this. Links in the description, please go and donate. I've raised over £1,500 for Prostate Cancer UK by visiting as many football grounds as I can in one year. So yeah, please go and donate. Yeah, so this is going to be five into one, um, so the four games tomorrow, the one game tonight. So yeah, it might be quite a long video, I'll see, I might might make more than one, I'll, I'll see how it goes basically. But in the meantime, let's get into the car and go to Ashton and Backwell. And we've arrived, ground number one of five this weekend, Ashton and Backwell. So another one of those ones that I've played at before but never visited as a ground hop so another one ticked off the list. I have played it a number of times though so it's not that new to me. About 10 minutes till kick off, the team's just going back into the changing room. Crowd's looking decent. Ground's decent. Old school, proper non-league ground. Pitch is looking very good, which I'm really pleased with, because when I used to play here, the pitch was pretty shocking. One nil on the stroke of half time, thank God. It's one of those where I was praying that it wasn't going to be another nil nil, and it felt like it until then. One nil to Ashton and Backwell. <laughs> I'm not sure how much you guys can see this. I'll try and go low, but look at the slope. I'm on the corner flag and you literally can barely see that goal on the other side. That's crazy. Come on! 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 Come on!
2-0 to Ashton and Backwell, giving their due, it's well deserved, been well on top tonight. 2-0, about an hour gone. About 15 minutes later, nothing's happened until that. Missed it, came from a corner, near post volley, decent finish to be fair. 2-1 with about, I guess, 20 minutes to go. Game on. Red card for what looked like a late tackle to me. About 10 to go, 2 1 still, but Dan's 10 men, so game well and truly on. Could be a late equaliser or even a late winner. What a save. Ref's given the pre warning, next kick and it's over. Try and make way back round then. Day two. Welcome to day two. Apologies for the face, the hair, everything. It's currently 7.40. And I'm on my way to pick up Adam, who you've seen in a number of the vlogs in the past. Picking him up from Bristol, and then we're off to Walton Rovers against Caintram Town, which kicks off in three hours. Let's go. This is disgusting. Kickoff's in about an hour, but we've got to stop at Dando's. Get a sandwich. This place is unreal. Look at that bad boy. Dando's. On the way to Radstock. Make sure if you're in the area, check it out. from the rain. It's pissing down and there is next to no cover. With the hospitality we have over here today in the refreshments hut, Nikki and Mare are serving breakfast, consisting of breakfast bats and sweet <laughs> This is absolutely disgusting. I will film as much as I possibly can, but I can't promise anything. Hey! About 30 minutes gone, it's 1 1. We're sort of protecting ourselves, not getting the camera out too much because it's pissing down still. We need to get some photos, but yeah, decent game so far, 1 1. Stroke half time, 2 1. At least there's goals in it. Welton 2, Caitrim 1.
over and a deserved win that's probably one of the last kicks of the game. Welton 3, Cachin 1. So the time is 12.36 end of game 2 of the weekend. Now on to Radstock. Kickoffs in an hour and we're about five minutes away already. Arrived at game 2 of the day. Radstock tanning is Oldland. Look at these nets. Long time subscribers know how much I love my goal nets. Look at these. Proper classic old school nets. Attendance of 247 at the first game, which is a really strong attendance. And I'd imagine it will probably increase as the day goes on because a lot of people won't want to get out of bed. So maybe the 7.45 tonight at Hengrove, that might bring a decent crowd in, or the 4.30 odd down. So, yeah, good day so far. Six goals in two games, can't complain. Oh no, seven goals in two games. And yeah, hopefully some more in this game. So it's Division 1 Western League, game three of the weekend. Ground 62 on my charity challenge and 159 in total. Hit 160 today. Oldland Abertonians. Old. Oh, Oldland. Was it one big? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm devastated that I've missed that on camera, I think. That was a pretty bad own goal. He's, <laughs> he's controlled it in his in the six yard area and he's just smashed it into the top corner. <laughs> 1-0 Radstock. Half time, 1-0. Oh, oh, Oh. Just come back to the car to grab my charger, and I've just realised this. I really hope I left it open and I haven't been robbed. Nothing seems to have gone missing, so I just think I'm an absolute twat and I forgot to shut my door. I even clicked, I locked the car though. It is locked, but this door's open. Idiot. End of game two, 1-1. One, one. I believe the attendance is around 150, so a bit lower this one. But now on to Odd Down against Bitten. About a 20 minute journey, see you when we get there. This walk seems familiar. The first person to comment what I said on this exact pitch about three or four weeks ago. I don't know, it was a legend, something like that, I don't know. Where, someone tell me before I get here, before I actually tell you where I am. You might have known from what I told you earlier, but where am I? And what game was I at here for recently? Let me know. This end was full about four weeks ago with Weymouth fans. Part of my road to Wembley. I do like it here, but I didn't want to come in that, that quickly again. One 
Tottenham squad down, thank God. Again, a game that seemed to be looking for a 0 0 after 20 minutes, and it's 1 0. Poor game. Two minutes after the goal, and I'll down it down to ten. Two foot attack, won the ball cleanly. But according to the rule, studs up two foot, it's a red card. A bit frustrating, but. Bitten could be back in it. Oh, what a save. He's been sent off. Second booking for diving, even though I heard the contact. If I hear it from all the way over there, the ref must have heard it. Off his rocker, this one. <laughs> Two one bit and what a finish. Can't be any more than fifteen to go. They look like they've stolen it. Two two, very good game. Now, it's crap in the first half, very good now. I think there's probably not too long left. Yep. Yes, well next time will be some weird Game over, two two. Actually turned out to probably be the best game so far. Oh wrong way, wrong way. So now for the, I think it's about seven miles to Hengrove for the final game. Hopefully some more goals. At location for game number four of the day and game number 100 this season. No, not this season, this year. I've made myself sound amazing when I'm not. 100 games this, this calendar year, so. Another achievement ticked off. That in itself is an achievement. Four games in a day, not a single nil-nil. One nil to Hallam. I don't know what happened there, it's two nil. Not like the defender kicked it against him and it went in. So two nil to Hallam after about 30 minutes. At least there's some goals today. I'm really pleased about that. It's gone in. Come on in. Hey? 
<laughs> Fair enough. I've just called on camera. Five goals for you, John. Nice. I love to. I can't actually believe that's just gone in. I need to watch that back. That was unbelievable. Either the keeper's had a mare, or he's just scored an absolute screamer. 2 1. Just about five minutes in the second half, so plenty of time left. Come on, Constant. Fantastic goal, 2-2. Two -two. Four goals again. Our goal average is doing pretty well today. 2-2, two -two, literally two, five minutes after that first goal, so still plenty of time, could be a few more. Three two to Hallen. Probably deserved. See you later, lads. Three games and 85 minutes have done us. Are enough for us. We're off. <laughs> Speak in a second. 27 hours later, and we're back home. What a fantastic day. What a fantastic two days. Um, started off yesterday at Ashton and Backwell and then finished with four games today at, apologies if I don't remember, Welton, Radstock, Odd Down and Hengrove. I think I saw three, six, how many goals did I see? Bear with. 18? 18 goals I think I saw today. No, over the last two days, which is fantastic. Four new grounds, all arranged by Grand Hop UK, I'll say links in the description. Go and check out their future football weekends, they're a fantastic company. Not been paid to say this at all. Um, the weekend, I think, cost me 26 quid for my five tickets, including programmes. Um, it's all very, very well organised, so yeah, make sure you guys go and check them out in future. There's a Welsh Premier League Grand Hop plan for November time, I think, and loads of other ones as well, so make sure you go check them out. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We've just hit 7,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, ne Tuesday I'm off to Yates Town, I believe. Then next weekend it's an FA Cup road to Wembley again, and I don't know where I'm going. Probably Kidderminster against Chester, so that's a good one to look forward to. So yeah, see you on Tuesday. Bye bye.